officially underway for a new vaccine for the H1N1 flu. One of those trials got underway today at Emory University. CBS Atlanta's Rebecca Schramm is live in Decatur with a look at who is volunteering to get the shots. Rebecca? Well, Helen, there are people who are eager to help researchers come up with a way to prevent the spread of the H1N1 virus. And with kids now back in school, the clock is ticking. At the brand new Dunwoody Elementary School, it's clear children are excited about the first day of school. I woke up and I couldn't fall back asleep because I was excited. Be smart. Their parents are excited too, but some can't help but worry about the H1N1 virus. You just don't want your child to take it home. Good morning, everybody. DeKalb School Superintendent Dr. Crawford Lewis says schools are ready for the possibility of seeing some H1N1 cases. I think every teacher this year in grades pre-K through eighth grade had kids bringing, bringing sanitizers and wiping down desks and all those kind of things. Ready? Ready. Families can thank Gordon Potter and his wife Linda. First one down. All right. They're proud to call themselves guinea pigs for an H1N1 vaccine. It's one of several clinical trials being conducted in a compressed time frame to get a vaccine ready in time for the fall flu season. Emory University doctors will evaluate the safety and immune response to the vaccine and also help determine how the pandemic flu shot should be given along with the seasonal flu shot to make it most effective. In addition to all of the common sense things like learning to cough the new way, and washing hands, staying home when you're sick. Um, a vaccine uh, will be critical, I think, to help with control of this pandemic. I feel very comfortable with the folks here that are doing it and um, feel fortunate to be able to be involved. Emory University still needs more senior citizens for the study. They also need children for a separate study that begins next week. Coming up at 6, you'll hear from a mother of three about why she's volunteering for the study. Live in Decatur, Rebecca Schramm, CBS Atlanta.